Harley Quinn is one of my favorite DC characters. I've loved her in the animated series and should really read more comics with her. These are the two Harley Quinn minibus that have been released in the line. This is the Series 1 um, Adam Hughes design. And this is the Series 3 Amanda Connor design. I'm going to have to say I like the second one better. Um, let's look at this one first. She's popping out of a jack-in-the-box with Joker motif on it. Very nice. It's got a handle. Be very careful. Don't break it off. Um, the top of the jack-in-the-box has a nice little card motif. And she has a big-ass hammer with which to hurt people. She's got a cute little face. And the paint is pretty good on these. The diamonds here, for example, have little sculpted lines. The paint's a little sloppy on one of those corners. I don't know if you can see it because of the light. Um, but the lines between the red and the black are overall pretty clean and straight. Um, same with the white here. There's a little bit of slop, the, the, the black and the red going over the sculpted edges, but not terrible, certainly not super noticeable. Even the back is pretty well done. Um, not much else to say about it, really. It's a, it's a neat little pose. I like it. The Amanda Connor one is better, in my opinion. Um, I don't know. If you notice, there are different colors of red. I don't think I prefer one over the other in that regard. They both have their merits. The darker one looks good, um, as does the, the brighter red. Um, I like that her black is a little more glossy. Not terribly so. The diamonds are a little bit bigger. Her collar is bigger. I like that her hat, whatever you call this part of the hat, I like that they're a little more up in the air. She has a cute little joker sucker that she's chewing on. It's cast in clear something. I have no idea. But that's cool. And of course, her deck of cards base. I like spades, diamonds, clubs, and hearts. And as you've noticed, she's scribbled all over the queen of hearts. Um, I don't know. The pose is this one a little more fun. The base is a little more fun. I'm a pretty big fan of this line. I have several of the minibus. I'll try to show them show a few of them to you over the coming while as I try and film some of the very toy many toys I have. Um, but yeah, Women of the DC Universe busts, I like them. They're smaller than the original busts I started with, the Gentle Giant Star Wars busts, which are um, one-sixth scale. These are significantly smaller and unfortunately about the same price. And later ones have actually gotten quite pricey. The, the retail price has gone up quite a bit in the last um, few releases. And some of the older Series 1's, Series 1 Adam Hughes designs are very expensive. The Catwoman, Hot Girl, uh, the Supergirl, those ones are really, really expensive. This one fluctuates a lot. I've seen it for 70, 80 bucks. I think I got this one for 30 or 40. Um, I don't even remember whatever this one was at retail. I pre-ordered that one. Um, but a fun little line if you like women from the DC universe and like mini busts. Although calling this mini bus is stretching it. The Star Wars ones start at the waist and go up and these two at least go clear down to the mid thighs. It's a mini statue missing lower legs. Anyway, check them out if this kind of stuff interests you. I've got them mostly on eBay. More quick thing before I end. The base shows the name of the line, Women of the DC Universe as well as the year it was produced, this one 2006, this one 2011, and how many of each. I'm surprised that there is actually more of the Series 1 Harley Quinn. 6,000 were made, um, but it's, at least last time I looked, it was more expensive, harder to get a hold of than the Series 3, but I also got this one right when it came out. And there's only 5,000 of those. Um, I have not noticed if the other ones I have have the year they were released on the bottom. But that's kind of a nice feature. All right, thanks for watching.